Hey guys, this is Austin here with Austin and Aaliyah Wizard content. We are going to be doing the waterworks today. That's the waterworks right there. We are in Crab Alley. If you don't know, it's near Trenton Avenue. There's a pond. I'm going to show you really quick. Tell you which, where it's at Trenton Avenue. Herman right there. Alright, I'm going up here. I'm sorry if it's a little bit laggy. I'm uploading one of the uh, videos, the Wallaroo videos. Alright. And let's see here. Alright, so if you're at Trenton Avenue, or Triton Avenue, whatever you want to call it, I call it Trenton sometimes. <laughs> Trenton Avenue, uh, it's going to be right there around the water. Uh, so what you're going to want to do to get it started, you got to be level 60. You got to go to, from Old Town, go to Triton Avenue. You got to find Vlad Raven Eye. He's going to be over there. He should give you a quest. Kraken's over there. I know you guys know where the Kraken is. So for good reference, there's Stuzy on the left right there. You're going to go down here. Take a left. And once you talk to Vlad Raven Eye, yeah, you'll have access to this. They go to Crab Alley, we'll go. Alright. Then you'll talk to him, and then once you talk to Herman, it's going to take you over to here to Waterworks, which... Alright. And I'm going to help these guys out. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you at least got four people to do this. Uh, you can respawn the boss at the end. So you're going to make sure at least got four people. Alright. And sometimes the loading screen can take a while whenever you load up in here. I don't know why. It just does. It uh, doesn't matter how good your computer is. Mine's loaded in pretty good. A strange current is focused around this area. Maybe the valve will shut it off. And when you start, you're going to want to go over here. Turn that on. I don't know why this is still here it's kind of odd uh will it actually let me use it oh that's weird <laughs> okay then this is not supposed to be here but uh we just got done fighting so maybe that could be why so we are going over here and it's just mobs for a little bit if they'll let me join there we go I'm max level, just helping you guys out. So, in, in my opinion, Waterworks is the best level 60 dungeon for most schools. Uh, there is another level 60 dungeon called Zigzag and Crocotopia. I don't really care for that one too much. I love doing Waterworks easy as fun, and you can keep respawning the bosses at the end. This, you're just gonna wanna kill all the mobs. When you first start off, just kill them all. This is my death right here. I'm using this is of Fools. You can get this spell from a key boss and Celestia. It's Drowned Dan. That key boss drops spellments for Ship of Fools. You gotta use gold keys if you got any for it. And it's like a mini scarecrow. It attacks them all and gives you health. So it's a really good spell. Alright. That's the first room, we gotta go to the second room, we gotta pull the levers in pretty much just about every room. If I can even get in, there we go. Alright! Then you got these cool little mech guys over here, it's like little fish controlling robots, it's pretty cool. Then you got the crabs. I'm just gonna tell them to let me do a check and show you guys the next room. The next room is a puzzle.
And I'll explain what I mean soon. Alright, so my bag is full. Not worried about it. Gotta activate the lever. So if you guys are doing this dungeon for the first time, it's gonna level you up. If you're like level 60, it's gonna level you up probably once. So the good thing about wizard dungeons is if you first do a dungeon for the first time, it's gonna give you 100% of the XP. Then the second time, it's gonna be half of it. So this next room is right across there. I'm gonna take these right clams. Just gotta read the book. Before the wisp wither, open all blue clams. Oh, blue clams only. So I'm gonna take this side. It is time. It is time. So you gotta be quick. I just open up that one. Open up that one. That one. That one. You need somebody needs to do the left side too. I got it. Sometimes you might need to help your friends out a little bit. Because it is time. The little red wisp pretty much right over here. Me and the timer. So hopefully that's it. Hopefully we did it right. Hopefully. Yep, we did it right. If you did it right, it gives you all the health. If you didn't do it right, it was once of enemies. Just telling them a good job. We got it done. I didn't think they was actually going to get it. <laughs> All right, and this is Luska here. What you're going to do is if you fizzle a lot, you might really want to go first because uh, this boss will definitely make you fizzle. Cheats are pretty good. Uh, I'd say the higher levels only take the back. So on Luska, you can't use straps, but I got mass paint for my hat. It lets me use it in this case, so we can use it. Uh, so... The cheats pretty much are, you can blade, you really can't strap, but I am using a trap since Mass Faint doesn't actually attack them. And if you can't use single hit spells on them unless you got the ink on it, which is right here, makes you fizzle. It's not 100% fizzle rate, but it's like 45% off your accuracy. <clears throat> so the guide pretty much here would be to do would be just like this person blade or everybody blade up and then just hit them hard it's pretty easy this boss gives you the hat that you need he only drops the hat which I don't think anybody has it it's your level 60 waterworks to if you're like deaf like that person it's called hangman's gear it's called different names between schools though like storm it'll be sky scream Kind of forgot what the other names are, but uh, it's but so we got one faint on them. Cannot use these faints. Cannot use elemental traps either. If you do, he will hit you hard. He will use, I believe, a skeletal dragon on you. So let's say if this person was to hit them with something, then the next person would get ink. And it goes all the way up to the last one. So the last person never gets ink. They never get it. That's only the first three. And that's only if you hit the boss. I believe with like a single hit spell if you got ink that is. Which you're not going to see all the ink because we're just going to wreck them all easily. Alright. I'm gonna use Scarecrow. Oh, they're using Scarecrow too. Alright. Oh, see, look, I got ink. See, I got ink, so actually, it doesn't matter what you use on them. As long as you use ink. I got two inks on me, so I don't know if they combine or not. I don't think they do. But we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Hopefully, I don't fizzle the possibility. <laughs> yep, I fizzled. Great. Alright. Uh, let's see here. I'm just scared to go try it again. It's the. Well, it doesn't tell me what I have on. That's weird. It doesn't tell me I got that one. Maybe it's bugged or something. I have no clue. But it inks you every single round, too. 
funny how they're not fizzling, but I am, and I'm the highest level here. <laughs> right? He's slowly getting down. If I don't fizzle again, he'll be dead. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Alright. Man, you should be dead. Oh, and the boss was balanced, by the way. There we go. Let's see. I didn't get a hat, but my bag is full. 150, 150. I need to sell some stuff. Let's see. Got that. Somebody got the hat. That's really good. So it looks like somebody got that. There's the death boots right there. That's where the death you boots took like. Second pressure safety All right, I'll just do here. Just selling everything as my frames are just giving out for some reason, which is not right. There we go. All right, let's see. See, that's the whole that's the whole outfit you're looking for. A hat like that, a robe, and the boots like that. That's what you're looking for. The gear gives you a lot of damage, a lot of resist, so it's actually a pretty good, pretty good gear. See, you got nine resist, damage, critical health, and pip chance, and it's very, very good. I would say this level 60 gear is pretty much good all the way to level uh, about 90, and you can do tar terrace around Aquila. You don't really have to, because sometimes you know people just skip. To level 100, and they uh, go to the Malice there here in Darkmoor. And these are just more mobs. We kill the first boss. There's two, two boss fights here. The last boss fight is gonna have three bosses. One of them looks like this little small fish, the wing fin slicer. It's what it kind of the model resembles of for the final boss. It's that, a hammerhead shark, and I don't, I guess you could say an angler fish? If you don't know what that is, if you ever watch Nemo, it's a little fish with a little glow in the dark. Little antenna, and it lights up. That one is the big, big boss. Now the cheats are pretty simple. For the final boss, and I'll show you guys later. Uh, Right, let's go get these water fights. The mass paint comes from a pack, I think it's the professor's horde pack, I believe. Because it's the one that gives like all the teacher schools and it's called the Dorgan's hat. And it gives you mass paint and it is the one of the best spells to use to kill stuff faster. It's very good with teams. Run that with a max storm, you can kill anything on the spiral like around the first round with Tempest. I'm just going to show you the guys stats of it. I'm level 160, this is level 130. It's Dorgan's Havoc Helmet. It gives honor power compared to the Merciless Hat. The Merciless Hat's not the best. But come on guys, let's face it, the Aeon gear takes so long to get. It takes so long to get the Aeon gear. Alright, now we're going through the final little rooms here. Two rooms and then the big boss fight. This one, all you gotta do is you gotta go to the book, you gotta talk Start to the book, to then it gives you this the ill at, and you gotta follow the ill, and you just gotta pull the leverage where he stops at. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, this is probably the easiest puzzle like in the game right here. You can like never mess this up. And you'll go to this one, and that should be the final one. And it should be done, and it starts giving you health. If you see the health, that means you've done it right. Alright. And then we're gonna go on down to the last mob here. We're gonna wipe these fellas out.
That's an easy takedown. Alright. <clears throat> lever right here. Pull the last lever. Activate the fourth pressure safety latch. Now to turn Now what we gotta do is we gotta go all the way back to the main room where we started at. And if we ever need a this is the final boss that's about to spawn. If you ever need a final boss, you can go in one of these rooms like this, just go in, then walk right back out like this. Back to the main room. And they'll respawn as long as you got four players and they are still in this dungeon somewhere where they're spinning AFK. You go hit that little thing there, and this boss cheats. So what this boss does is you got first four rounds is traps only, then the first four rounds after that is blades only, then it goes traps back to the blades. Every four rounds it switches back and forth. So it's pretty easy. Uh, we pretty much kill them before we get to the blades part. See, it says traps go infected with light. So whenever it switched back to blades, it's going to take all the traps off of them. I would use only AOE spells for this, so attack all enemy spells. So like Scarecrow, Stormlord, Fire Dragon, etc. I would only use those because if you use a single hit and you don't got a blade or don't got a trap, he's going to use a really powerful raw. It's an attack that hits all your friends. It, Hurts them really bad, like two grand, I would say, somewhere around there. It might have nerfed them throughout the years, but uh, yeah, it's like that. But the funny thing I've learned about this boss is, is let's say you're a storm, right? And it's just a fire trap on that boss. If you hit that boss with, like, let's say, uh, I don't know, like a fire cat or something. As long as he's got a trap of any kind on there, it won't put the raw on people. So you could have a storm trap on that boss and just fire cat, and it still wouldn't mess it up. As long as you got a trap of some kind on there. Alright, it's good to have Frenzy. Frenzy's high level. It's for higher level players, but if you don't got it, around level 60, you can probably have Amplify or at least like. Frenzy or Berserk, something like that. You can get it from a stat quest in Zafaria. And I believe this spell is in Zamunda Outskirts, I think is what it's called. It's like little zebra area where all these little rhino, gray horn rhino guys are. You'll fight like 50 million of them. Didn't see we, we, we killed them all, that was quick. We killed them all like you ain't seen on the last second, that was really quick. But you can get all kinds of gear here, you can get mega snacks. Uh, you do not get the hats here, these guys drop only the shirt and the boots. And that's all it is, just three pieces, all you get from there, they drop. Sometimes this will drop mastery amulets too, uh, I know I got a life one. It's, it must be, it's in my bag from last night, I got a life one. Alright, and uh, I'm just going to show you how to respawn. So let's say you got four guys here. You guys want to respawn these bosses because you didn't get your shirt boots. You don't feel like running the whole thing again. It doesn't matter which room it is. You can just go into any of these rooms. And if you need help, you can grab the health. That's fine. And you can go like this, go back out. And then it respawns the bosses. I don't know if they're going to need to fight these guys. We don't have to. But it doesn't say if you're missing the shirt or the boots, uh, you can just respawn the bosses. That is my YouTube channel, they were asking. Alright. And there you have it, folks. That's how you do the waterworks. Simple, easy. Uh, mm. It's pretty much you want to make sure you got four people. That's the main thing because just to respawn these bosses. Just be careful. Some people who like this say they're missing the hat. Make sure they're doing the full dungeon because they'll just go to the squid boss, Luska, and they'll just fight it and then leave back out. And that could ruin your final boss thing. Alright, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, please click that like button and click that sub button. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you on the next video.
gonna go over here so I can take some thumbnail pictures really quick. Take some thumbnail pictures right there. Alright, that's the big boss. 